presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions and to you as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to that question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 15, NASDAQ up 5.5, SPs up 4.5. Gold, gold contract down $3.20, trading at 1851 an ounce. We have silver down 14 cents, $21.09 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 87 cents. $80.56 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down two ticks, trading at a price point of 111 flat. The 30 year down seven at 124.21. And King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading, where are you, baby? Up, uh, down one, 171 ticks at 104.349. The yen is trading at 136. The pound is at 102, 106 rather. And the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Can you say a setup for an ABC structure down, folks? Well, that's where I'm going with this whole deal. So check it out. If we take a look at where we're going here, right? First, if we just do the retracement, what you're going to see the S&P you know, it was slightly less than a 0.618. That being said, the contraction of volume out here is pretty amazing out here today. So right now you got 51 million shares. On Friday we did uh, 90 million, and you're going into uh, 89 million. This setup here, by the way, okay, if you get an ABC down, you get a failure on price and volume out here today. This setup would bring you right down to the low swing point of this 374. That's how that's set up. And that's a high volume low at 374. And I suspect what's going to happen here is that this is going to be all about Powell. Powell is in front of the Senate tomorrow and then in front of the House on Wednesday. And what happens here, this is done once a year, folks. Okay, he has to report to Congress. And bottom line is that they go through a huge amount of questions. And I suspect what he's going to be Talking about is that it's going to be higher for longer, and that market is going to not dig it. We're going to take a look at the, uh, so that's, I put the Qs up first. Oh the, oh, the Qs. Okay, let's do the Qs. So the Qs, this is pretty amazing. The Qs, folks, they did it to the, like, right to the number, man. It did a 0.618. Same setup in the Qs. The Qs are going to have a huge contraction of volume out here today. You gave, give up in price. I don't, I don't expect these to come back today. Right now, you're at uh, 42 million shares. We, on Friday, you did 60 million shares, and you're going into 59 million shares. So bottom line, let's go into the futures and take a look at the futures and try to figure out, you know, it, it's not that there's a lot of downdrafts out here either today. Uh, when, I'm, when I bring up the futures, you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. So you can see, oh, that's subtle. Oh, interesting. Okay, so watch this. I, that being said, when I was just talking and yapping right there, what you just did have, this bar here just had an expansion of volume. The bar, as soon as I, 3 to 310. So that's going to get back down there, number one, and that's uh, 4051. 
And right now, uh, you're at 4057. Now, let's go to the NQs. Take a look at the NQs. Stretch this out a little. Same setup, man. Same setup. So, this is, you get 60 minutes to sell. This is going to get interesting. I don't think it's going to be a, a vicious, you know, pullback here. Right? You can see what, what the... What the S&P has done, the S&P has kind of gone sideways for the last uh, 20, 30 minutes. Um, the NASDAQ, however, basically went lower. But we'll see how it shakes out. The, I don't expect buyers to come in. That's the real bottom line. Why? Because you already get a failure in price and volume. And even whether you're, whether you're a bull or a bear, uh, <laughs> you, you're going to want to hear what he has to say. Because what does happen is this, folks, okay, is that the first day is where most of the information is going to come out. Now, what does end up happening is that the Senate is first tomorrow, and then the representatives will be able to ask him huge amounts of questions. But most of the time, what you're going to get out of it is the first hour to hour and a half. That's, he's going to come in first with the whole speech. That speech will get published approximately 15 to 20 minutes before he starts the speech. Then... You can expect high volatility. That's the bottom line. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. What you're looking at gold is that gold last week. So what we had is this. Gold, you know, came off the November 8th sign of strength. Okay, goes back there first, comes off there, and, you know, it came off with pretty good, pretty good volume. There's, there's, you know, especially the second day off it. And then, you know, Friday wasn't that big. That's the real bottom line. So... Today out here, you get a sideways move. Now, the sideways move and lower is actually with light volume, you know, which, which, is, which is a bullish indication. So, you know, my take is that we're going to actually come back down and retest that area. And the reason that I'm saying that is I suspect what the retest is all about is that what we're going to get is that this good old U.S. dollar... Well, here, let me go to the bonds first because the bonds, the bonds are the number. The, what the bonds had done, the 10-year had done a 100% move or a move. And what that means is that you start out at one point, the bottom line, the, the start out at 110.08. This goes all the way back to uh, October. Goes all the way up to 116.28. Back down on Thursday to 110.12. And now you get a failure in price and volume today. And it's a monster, man. I mean, we had gone up to 111.17. We're at 111. You only got 1.1 million contracts. That also more than likely is setting up another ABC structure on the way down. We get over to the dollar and we take a look at the dollar. What you have with the dollar, that 106 to 107 is still game in spades. We've gone sideways for about 10 days right now. And I think what that's going to be all about is that the Fed's going to, Powell's going to say, hey, you know, inflation's lasting longer. You know, inflation's not going away, folks. I mean, I, it, it blows my mind that, you know, people think it can go away, away in a year. Yeah, it's not even close, man. It, it, it took us a long time to get here. It just doesn't disappear. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up nine. NASDAQ is down two. S&P's uh, up two and a half. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 10. They get the NASDAQ. Uh, no, Dow is uh, up 1. NASDAQ's down 10. S&Ps are up 1. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter on Mastering Probability. Now, you can come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to newsletters. You're going to see Mastering Probability on the right-hand side. You can just hit that subscribe button. And the bottom line, folks, Steve has a huge amount of information out there. You can get Master in Probability. The way it works is that you can get it for 29 days for free. That's the reality. That's how, uh, bottom line, it's a 30-day subscription. If you want to keep it, great, awesome. If for some reason something doesn't work for you, guess what? You can get all that great information over there. You can uh, take a look at his TD9 count. You can take a look at um, his oscillator and change line. The huge amount of information that you can learn just by subscribing. So come over to our website at TFNN, hit that subscribe button. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, inflation for sure. I filled up my gas uh, car yesterday. Uh, still over five bucks a gallon here in the uh, Boca. Is it? Uh, yeah, so it's five, five paid, five oh nine or five ten, and it's been like that. Uh, it, it hasn't really changed much. It's gone. Maybe I saw it just under five a few weeks ago, um, but yeah, I, and eggs, you know, the eggs. So I, 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 the, I like, uh, I, I like to get in some protein. Yeah. I like to get my protein if I can from eggs. So I typically will purchase uh, organic eggs, and, right. and they're now over eleven bucks. The ones that I buy. So you got huge bucks. prices over there, man. Because we're oh, uh, do. at we do we at ninety three. We're only at three ninety over here. Yeah, you know the the and our eggs are only eight eighty three, and that's the yeah. same deal that you are talking about. That's it, that's, it is. So no, you guys it, have it more is. money. That's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's, inf it's you do. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they like. But the hey, this song. inflation is pretty intense, isn't it? Oh, it I, is. Oh, yeah. big time. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Hey, the Grand Slam breakfast at Denny's eventually is going to cost a grand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hey, love it. What do you got? Two eggs on there? That's two bucks. Hey, you right know what's there? so you funny? He's, he's bringing up Denny's, folks. Okay, and I just got an email. Jack in the Box is coming into Florida, and I'm telling you, when we were in the Marines, right between Denny's and Jack in the Box, we lived there. So you should have seen me, Steve. I'm going through the Jack in the Box. I'm saying, is there any money in this? Well, there's no money. Don't buy a franchise, folks. There's no money in it. The average yeah, yeah, Jack yeah. in the Box is fifty to seventy-five thousand, and you're going to put up three hundred and fifty grand. Yeah. 
But I was cracking yeah, yeah, up. Yeah. I had <laughs> both of those places I used to live in, man. <laughs> I, well, I, I would add uh, Taco Bell to that. That was always Taco Bell. Was for me was always good hangover. Food. I love Taco Bell. <laughs> Loved it. Yeah. Exactly. A little grease, a little grease to go totally, with that hangover. Totally, man. Totally. <laughs> so okay. you mentioned that the newsletter has a lot of information. Yes. This is one of the. This is one of the. Uh, in essence, uh, charts, graphs uh, that uh, subscribers get. So each morning, um, they get to understand what the current market outlook is for multiple time frames. So those time frames being a, a monthly, a weekly, a daily, a 15-minute, 30-minute, 65, 130-minute. So it tells you for that specific time frame, first, what the market condition is as of as of the time that the newsletter goes out. Yeah. Uh, it tells you where we're at. You mentioned the TD9 counts. It tells you where we're at with regard to the counts. The ones with stars next to them are identifying that there's a potential for a top or a bottom out there. Uh, we've got even part of the uh, Chapman wave counts. We've got different levels of support. So it, it provides you with all the information for, and this covers uh, equity futures, metals, uh, oil and gas, debt, commodities, um, the index ETFs, the diamonds, the Qs, and so forth, the sectors inside the S&P 500. So it really provides an individual with an opportunity to understand, to answer their own question. What are, what is this, is the market bullish or bearish? And then specifically for the uh, time frame. And I use these different, uh, different intraday time periods that most people do. So if we take a look at a stock or an ETF, what we know is that what we're looking at from a trading standpoint is six and a half hours worth of data. So what I've done is I've just taken that when I take a look at a bar for my for my tools, yes. for my pattern recognition, I like to have equal time frame bars. So there's 295 minute bars that make up a 390 minute day. If we're trading for six and a half hours, it's 390 minutes. There's 330 minute bars. There's six 65 minute bars. There's 13 30 minute bars. There's 26 15 minute bars. So I just suggest for anybody that's analyzing a chart and trying to compare apples to apples that they make sure that the bars are using the same types of time frames. So that's why I use these different time frames out here. The current scan that we took a look at showed a potential TD9 count, well, it actually showed a TD9 count bottom for the XLB, for the healthcare sector. So let's go investigate that. So here are the multiple time frames. And on a monthly chart, what we can see, and that's in the upper left, price was just consolidating with inside its TAS market profile. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, what we see here is this identified, this formed an actual TD9 count bottom. So we've got a, a bottom pattern for the weekly. The daily confirmed a TD9 count bottom pattern on uh, Thursday of last week. The 195 minute confirmed a TD9 count bottom. So, and all these other intraday charts out here have bottoms. That's really what you want to see when a daily. So, if a weekly time frame gives us a top or a bottom signal, right now we'll just talk about a bottom signal. What you then like to see is the shorter term time frames come back and confirm that. Well, here you had a weekly. Now you've got a daily out there, and that's for the XLV. So in summary, the multiple time frames are suggesting the XLV was absolutely bottoming. And that is where the use of this 15 minute time frame chart comes in. 15 minute time frame chart or 15 or 10 minute. But here we're going to take a look at a 15 minute time frame chart for the XLV. So these green lines that I have on this chart here, Tom, these are what I refer to as TD9 count breakdown resistance levels. The cool thing about the TD9 count pattern is it gives us a objective level of where price is broken out from or broken down. So if a instrument on a daily time frame is going to form a bottom, we will see resistance levels fail on those shorter term time frames. So it's nice to have that daily signal yes. and then come back and see is resistance failing. Well, here we take a look at the XLV. We can see two resistance levels failed. Now, I don't know where it's trading right now uh, at this moment, but the next resistance level is up at 133.01 for its 15 minute time frame. And if price starts busting through now, this is to the downside, TD9, TD9 breakout support, and that's identified here with these red lines. Well, then that's going to tell us that there's a short-term change in trend because we're using a 15-minute time frame chart out here. But this is really helpful in trying to put the daily time frame together with intraday. I'm not asking people to trade intraday. I'm trying to show them the useful benefit of where an intraday chart can really help to confirm the outlook that you have on something that you're trading. Right, because you're getting confluence, time. basically. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. And so here, this is a an afternoon report that, uh, uh, oh, I've got the wrong one in there. Shoot, sorry about that. Um, oh, uh, well, so at the in the afternoon, they get a report similar to this. It shows the top 10 instruments. Apparently, I, I didn't copy that one in here, but it shows the top 10 instruments for the S&P, the Dow, the NASDAQ, the Russell, and the semis, which are the most popular instruments that are traded there. So it gives you the same type of information that here is in this uh, morning report. Now, um, this is still the XLV. So let's take a look at the Amazon. 
because in the case of uh, Amazon, it was also breaking through resistance levels. So Amazon had established, boy, I really screwed this up in my presentation. Sorry, Tom. No, no, we got uh, it. We got <laughs> it, man. Yeah, yeah. But here we can see on a short-term basis, again, Amazon, which had bottom patterns out there, and that was really part of the signals coming from the top 10 charts out there. We can, again, see how this has broken through short-term resistance areas. Here's a typical retirement account, a set of charts out there. So people wanting to manage their long-term funds, it tells them exactly what the current conditions are using my set of tools, whether things are bullish, they're bearish, they're consolidating. So it really helps an individual to manage their assets, which is really what it's all about. And folks, it was so cool when Steve was showing those, those top tens, okay, is really tough when, you know, you get a couple of those top tens that have large waiting structures. You're going to stay up. I mean, that's the bottom line. Exactly. Get over to our website, folks, at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You see Master and Probability right on the right-hand side. Steve, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. You're going to have some action, too, because Paul's going to be talking. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up to, you get the NASDAQ down 18, S&Ps are off one and a half. So if we take a look at these indices, what you're going to see, folks, is that, you know, we basically, we gave it up. You gave it up. You have light of law, and the, these are typical ABC structures on the way down. So it's going to be really intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. So if we take a look at intraday here, what you're going to see is the selling is uh, accelerating. In fact, in, yeah, here we go. You got an ABC down. Look, at, check this out, man. You get intraday ABC down. So your A point on this is, uh, where are you? Four zero, okay, 4081 to 5.3. So bottom line is that, uh, man, you get, you get uh, 28 points. And that would get you down to uh, 433. Yeah, 
and 444 is the end. It's, it's an ABC down. You can see it just took out the B point, took it out with volume. If we go to the NQs, so they take a look at the NQs. This is always cool when it does it even at the end of the day, because what happens, folks, you can get, get the follow through tomorrow. We might get it today, but you can get the follow through tomorrow, because let's see, what time is Yeah, you still got a half hour, man. Uh, inside the Qs, so the Qs weren't set up the same way. The, see, the S&P has it, the Qs don't. But the Qs probably will get out of the low that was established out here at 7 o'clock this morning, and that's uh, the two, let's see, that's 12,297. And right now you're at uh, 12,320. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, and it's going to be a low volume day. You have uh, Tesla is down 350. They, they went down on their uh, Model S and uh, Model X uh, for the second time this year. Not, not bad, though, only three, three bucks, uh, 350 down. Apple's up 280. We have uh, Nvidia down 340. Um, let me go inside the NDX first. We take a look at the NDX. So the move is a Mercado Libre is up 3%, Apple's up 1.9, and Google's up 1.7. Taken away from it, you get Dexcom down 7.5%, Marvel Technologies off 4.5%. Uh, Dollar Tree is off three and a half, and Lululemon is off uh, 3.2. We go into the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. Point-wise out here, what do we have? So, point-wise, we have uh, Merck is the big mover out here today. That's putting 25 positive points. Apple's putting 19. Uh, Visa's putting 17. Taken away from it. Boeing, minus 23. Salesforce minus 12, nothing, nothing heavy. That's, that's the real bottom line. Nothing heavy that is out there. Um, now, let's go into the notes and bonds. I'm going to put the note and bond up on a continuous contract. Because I think these rates are going to go right through the roof, man. I mean, in a big way, too. T-Y-A. No, it's not going to be T-Y-A. T-Y... Generic, there we go, TY1. Come on, there we go. Okay, the generic chart up. So, we take this, and what we're looking for is the next level that this thing wants to trade to. Look at this, man. If you're watching Tiger TV, folks, I have this on a 15-year chart, and it broke everything. So I, get, <laughs> I should know better. I got to put this on a 25-year chart. Think about that for a second. I, gotta, I have to go to a heavier chart than 15 years because it broke everything. So close that. We are, okay, so already we're back to 2007. That's where we're at, 2007. Now the swing low on this, the first swing low is 104. We're going to 104, man. I mean, it's real possible we're going to go all the way down to 93. 104 is game. And what you're going to see, if that's where we're going, you're going to get the aspect of um, four and a half. And thus far, the high for the year is 4.24. And right now we're at 3.9. Last week we did reach... 4.056, you know, so these rates, uh, what, you know, it's interesting. Let's go to Bank of America f for a second, because what is happening here is that the banks themselves, they're not going up fast enough on their deposit rates. So listen to this, man. This is quite a number. This is amazing, actually. I hope I can bring it up right on this one. One second. I'll bring it up. The, the banks have lost more deposits, I believe, I mean, I've got to get this number again. I believe it's going back to 1948. I mean, it's some insane number. The amount of folks that have taken money out of the, which rightfully so, it totally makes sense, because of the fact that you can get so much more interest, and the banks have been slow to basically push anything up. Let me find this thing. If I can't find it right now, deep recession. Yeah, I cannot find it right now. I'll find it. But could you, so, so you know what's so intriguing about this? Is that, you know, like when interest rates go up, you all kind of always go to the banks because you think the spread's going to be that much bigger. Well, what has happened, banks are going to need deposits now because so many people are pulling them out. In fact, uh, two-year notes, uh, let me pull this up because 
what has also happened, here, watch this. There's been more buyers of two-year notes. Okay. Okay, here's, watch this. A two-year note right now is yielding 4.89%, folks. 4.89%. And, you know, you're locked up, but the reality is that you're really not that locked. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty amazing what's going to happen. And if you were around in the last get-go, um, you know, I certainly was a kid. Um, but the bottom line is that these rates did go to 14.5%. And, you know, <laughs> there's plenty of folks that had CDs that, you know, basically lived off those CDs for a long period of time. So I know 14.5% sounds absolutely insane. But let me tell you something. These prices on everything are insane. I mean, it's just, you can't go to the grocery store, and if you're really getting an order, and if you're buying any type of, I guess, yeah, you, you got to include meat here. Not that I don't even eat meat, but bottom line is that other people are eating it in my house. Um, you're going to spend almost 400 to $500, man, which is, you know, if I go back three or four years ago, yeah, if I'm ever at a party or something, you have a cookout in the summer, you, you do that, but like that's almost a normal thing. I, I, I walked out of Publix the other day, like 450 or something. I was like, you gotta be kidding me, man. You know? And evidently, Steve over the other side of Fort Lauderdale, they're really taking those guys to the cleaners because our eggs, the, the best eggs you can get in there, same deal. They were 883 or something because I buy them almost every day. Um, and gas over here is definitely lighter. And if you, uh, if you got to see the uh, um, the uh, Indy Grand Prix in St. Pete, folks, it was pretty amazing. Uh, the first lap, there was a big crash, and thank God, it, it, there was a couple of crashes, everyone's all right, but the first lap, it was insane. This guy got T-boned, he goes up in the air, flips over there, and thank God he flipped right on the course. Um, pretty cool, though, and it was on NBC, so um, they had those filming from the helicopters, and it really give you an idea of what St. Pete is like. And where, that's, our office is literally right there. We're on the third street, and first street is, is the water. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrial is up 15. Nasdaq's down 18. S&P's a flat. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. 
Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, trading uh, up 37. NASDAQ is down 9. S&Ps are up 2.5. And, and, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, we had uh, really a special trading event. Our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento, is going to be doing a live trading event, meaning he's going to be trading live. You can look right over his shoulder from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. this coming Wednesday. Now, what's going to be so cool, folks, is that the bottom line is that you have the Fed uh, Powell, chairman, speaking tomorrow and Wednesday. So you're going to have volatility inside the marketplace. Um, as you come over to our website at TFNN, uh, what you'll see, it's going to be trade what you see, a live trading event. Uh, this is going to go from 9 o'clock in the morning to 2 in the afternoon. It's only $295. And what you get for the $295, folks, is this. You're going to get the live event from 9 to 2, you get Larry's newsletter for a full month, which is $149, and you're going to get an amazing education. Larry does these about once every three months, so the bottom line, check it out at TFNN, and you'll be very happy you did. And uh, volatility is the name of the game, folks, and I suspect uh, both days we're going to have some volatility. That's how this baby's setting up right now. Let's get over to, go take a look at uh, Microsoft. So... If you, last night, uh, uh, 60 Minutes, after the golf tournament last night, um, you had, on 60 Minutes, you had um, Leslie Stahl doing a report on Bing and using the chat GBT. Uh, it, it was pretty cool, folks, okay? Uh, she was, <laughs> the amazing part about it, so picture, you, you have Bing, and then you have ChatGBT. So ChatGBT is the open source. You know, I don't know if there's still a lineup to go in. I, I, I use it. We got it the first day. So we haven't had a problem with the lines and all that. So there's a different version that they're using it in um, Microsoft. And it's a lighter version. And what had happened is that the, one of the reporters from the New York Times, um, bottom line, and this is why it changed, okay, he basically was whacking this thing for two hours with questions and try to get derogatory things. Well, he finally got, you know, derogatory things after two hours. And if you're wondering why they changed it, that you can only ask so many questions, that's what it was. The key is, if you didn't hear it, it's a good interview. I, I don't know if they pushed this off. Um, I mean, you can just listen to that. I suspect they have, because that's what most things happen. Um, and they had the guy in charge of it. Um, it was pretty cool, man, as, as to where this thing is going to go. Uh, and, it, you know, the, the coolest thing I thought was that the essence of it, they were trying to trip him up. And he was saying, hey, man, it's a machine. You, got, you know you're dealing with a machine, so you got to understand that you're dealing with a machine. That's the real bottom line. You know, if we look at Microsoft, Microsoft set up the same way. Modern, Bottom line meaning that you come down, you know, you, you get a contraction of volume today in a monster way. That's saying that baby is also going to basically pull back. And Microsoft 
has been one of the strongest equities in this market. So it's always cool, folks, okay, when you see the aspect of the, you know, first off, wondering where the market's going, then you see the strongest stocks that they can't handle it. That's a whole big deal. We go, let's go to the silver market and take a look at silver because silver was a lot weaker than gold. And, and what happened inside the gold market this past week, folks, was this. There was two or three equities that went and they went pretty good, but that's out of like 30 or 40 of them, okay? So my take is that we're not done on the way down yet inside the metals market. And I suspect that's going to be because of the interest rate structure um, in a big way. So if we take a look at the silver, you can see bottom line, silver really couldn't get off its lows. And you're in the lower range. So I suspect what silver's gonna try to do is get into this $19, this $18 level. And that's what that's gonna be all about. That's gonna be all about that US dollar and the rate structure. Um, and we'll see, you know, where, where it goes. I mean, I, I it's really hard to comprehend like how they think that inflation is actually going to go back to 2%. <laughs> you know, yeah, I could maybe see 2% 10 years from now, you know, but when you look at the whole context, and actually, let's do this. Watch this. I'm going to do, we're going to go all the way back to the beginning so that we can see how this is set up. Meaning, it's going to, T-Y, T-Y. Generic. Not gonna be it. That's gonna be it. I'm gonna go right back to 1980 because I believe that's when we started. I think I can go back that far. I can go back. Okay, so I'll go back 50 years. Look at this. This is gonna be crazy, folks. The reason I'm doing this. Oh yeah, I see. So all we've done thus far. Here, look at this though. This is interesting. If I go back to. So thus, oh, look at this though. Oh, this is crazy. So thus far, folks, this is wild. We've only did, we only did just over a 0 0.382 retracement of the whole move going back to 82. Now 80, I believe, was the, that will be less than 80. Because my first house that I bought was in 73, I think. And that's when it's 14 and a half percent. I can't go back more than 50 years. So there's, there's, low, there's lower than this because... Yeah, I remember that. Anyway, the, when you take a look at this, you can see that, you know, your next step down inside of this market is 104.04. If it breaks that, then you really got some action going. And 104.04 happens to also be the 50% retracement. Now, that's only from 82, though, because I believe the rates peaked right when I was buying the house. But we've, we've talked about this a million times, meaning that the, the aspect of the... Um, the prices when were so much lower when those rates were so much higher. So when you actually look at the where we are right now versus, you know, rates and mortgages, let's say they, they keep pushing out six and a half, six point seven five. Um, thanks, Duffy. But so they peaked in nineteen eighty three. That's where they peaked. Um, so maybe I got that one there. Maybe I got that. And so what ends up happening is that, yeah, if you're paying six and a half percent now on two or three hundred thousand versus 14 and a half on, you know, 20 or 30 thousand, you can see the differential like is not even close. And the differential is not even close to the aspect of how much people are actually making then versus making now in, in, in the aspect of how much you have to put to, to use in housing. You know, what, what has happened here, there's no doubt, what's happened here in Florida um, is something else. And St. Pete, uh, yeah, this, listen to what happened this weekend. This is crazy. We have a house that was selling at $2.8 million, and guy comes in, going to buy the house at $2.8 million. It, it's going it's to go. And then he, he, he ends up saying to Ryan, one of our brokers here, he says, this is after he... he and there's a lot of people that are coming in like this, folks, and they only want to buy the house and keep it for three years because they want to build a bigger house on the water. Well, what ends up happening in between the conversation is that 
It, they found another house at six million on the water that just got done. And he buys a six million dollar house, cash. It's like <sighs> we're just upstairs talking about. It. It's like you gotta be kidding me. I mean, and this happens a lot. <laughs> it's like okay, where does all this cash come from? But it's coming. It's coming left and right. Dow Industrials up 58, Nasdaq down two, S&P's up five and a half. We'll come right back. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, yeah, yeah, check this out. GBTC. This is going to get intriguing. There's a court case starting tomorrow, folks, okay? So this is, you know, uh, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, okay? You see this right down here, minus 41 percent um, premium. So Grayscale is taking on the SEC in court that they have let derivatives go on the Bitcoin, but they're not letting a spot price go. And so the SEC's point, folks, is that a spot price, what exchange do you use for a spot price? You know, FTX blew up, you know, so we'll see where this shakes out. But you can see, you know, that GBTC, they actually have the Bitcoins, and you're trading at a 41, not negative 41 percent. So if, in fact, they want to change into an ETF and the SEC won't let them change into an ETF, so that trades as a closed-end fund. So the bottom line is, depending which way that goes, you know, if it goes in Grayscale's favor, you're going to see that 41 percent discount change immediately, like overnight, like in two seconds. The probability laid out though is pretty low that GBTC is going to win. And the reason that's low 
is that the SEC put out a long time ago, about five or six years ago, what it would take for a spot Bitcoin to basically get okayed by the regulators. And it, it has to do with where do you, what exchange do you use for the spot? And what happens with the futures, the way the futures work, the futures are the futures, meaning that you and I decide where that's going to go. And that's why that's a derivative. But the difference is, you know what the price is of the derivative at all times, just like, you know, the S&Ps and everything else. You're going into the future. And so the market makes the derivative price versus the spot price. Because what can happen is that if you don't have a correct spot price, well, the bottom line, imagine the arbitrage on that. Like, okay, so this is trading at, you know, uh, bottom line, just 2,000. The average here is 2,100. You can see what's happening. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. Building